Hello guys, welcome to another Charlie Gans video. This is Jesse, amateur radio call sign bd 7 nly Today we are going to talk another thing about the JNC radio VNA. We are going to use it today for uh, most common applications for amateur radio operators. It will help us to set up an antenna. This means we are going to use this VNA as a uh, antenna analyzer. Okay, let's dive right in. The antenna we are going to use today is the M104 antenna kit, the super portable antenna for soda and potent, also from uh, Chelligans. It's a short wave antenna. And today we're going to uh, set it up indoor just for demonstration purpose, to demonstrate how we're going to use the JNC Radio VNA 3G uh, to help us to set up this antenna. Okay, we set up our antenna like this and we use the 40 megahertz coil. So uh, it means this antenna, we are uh, supposed to use the 14, uh, meter, uh, 14 megahertz bands. Uh, uh, one thing for sure is that this is not a correct way to set up an antenna. There's no ground, no groundings. There's a, this is not a good environment, etc. cetera. But uh, just let's use it as demonstrating the usage of the VNA. Let's go. We have now hooked up our antenna to our VNA. Notice there is a uh, adapter here because the VNA uses a uh, SMA connector while the coax cable from the antenna uses UHF. Thus, you would need adapter for the connection. Come to the device side. The first thing we do is set the start and stop frequency. And um, I set my start frequency at 13 megahertz and stop at 50 megahertz. And uh, in order to set up an antenna, what we need is the readings of the SWR and probably Smith chart as well, because uh, probably you will need to check the uh, impedance information as well. So we basically need two traces at least. We go to display trace and let's disable them first by clicking it to disable. And we make it from blank. We need two traces one for SWR and one for Smith chart. Now they're showing a different parameter. We need to change that. Uh, first of all, we change trace zero by clicking it. Now you see the A sign here. It means um, the trace zero is selected. And we, do, we change the format to SWR. Now it's showing the SWR number. And we change the trace to to the Smith chart. And one thing to notice is that uh, the trace number one, uh, the blue one, they're showing an S21 here. It means they're measuring the performance from the port two. But actually the antenna, they, they're not, not only the SWR, but also the Smith chart. We are going to see the port one information. So we need to change that as well. How do we do that? We go back. We change the channel here, clicking, it change from S21 to S11. Okay, so now the two traces are uh, showing the readings of the SWR and the Smith chart. Now we go back to trace zero again, clicking it. And um, uh, we need to put a marker. I, I want to know the lowest, the valley point here. The, what exactly the frequency that is, how do I do that? I go to marker and I search for the minimum and I will tracking it. So the marker one will go to always the lowest point. Um, for now I can see the lowest point here is uh, 14, some, something around 14 megahertz. The rating is 1.3. Uh, uh, I am now going to change uh, adjust my uh, length of my antenna to make the frequency move. I, if I want to move upwards, that means I will need to shorten my antenna. I will just do that. Okay, it now goes to, I shorten my antenna a little bit. So now the lowest point go to 14,960, uh, 260 something. And that's it. 
If you do not yet have one of the JNC Radio VNAs and are looking for places to get yours, don't hesitate to check out the Chelligans website and go to the product page, scroll down to find one of our distributors to get yours today.